Um, Tommy is he's not he's not new by any means. Yeah. He's not particularly OG. He falls within this time period of probably like I think I think 2010. And he's he's been really really solid recently. He just there was a time period where I think he got married and he didn't play that much, but he's he's definitely back now. So and he's he's probably on the cusp of S. So Yeah. I know we got that we got that Georgia tier list. Everybody's climbing just to get up higher. Every, everyone but me. <laughs> I sit here and stream all day. Hey, smashing turnips. Will you cast me this one? You're, you're gonna lose anyway. Just take the loss. <laughs> <laughs> Almost is not beating. All right. So anyway, I think this this matchup is pretty 50-50. Like. It just depends on how each uh, each person's style is. I haven't seen Yort too much, but I think. Uh, oh, okay. He is super old, to be honest. I, Dale, I have incomplete information. I'm I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, yeah. That, I thought he was old as well. Like I, I knew he was old school. I thought he just fell within a like newer time period. I I personally don't really know. There are definitely better people who would know more than me. And as for the as for the matchup goes, recently decided I am not gonna have any matchup opinions because I suck too much to have any legitimate matchup opinions. Okay, well, Yort's doing a really good or a pretty good job right now. Uh, just you not, know, not Yort falling not falling for basic peach shenanigans. Okay, well, as I say that, he does get down smashed. He's that was a good. It, you know, it, Tommy did a really good job getting in. Impressive. He's got the lead right yeah, now. He, he so really got in on uh, Yort right there to get the down smash. So. But yeah, this is one of those matchups Falco has to play a lot safer. Like he, especially with him basically spawning at death percent, he can't afford to get bashed off stage by a down smash randomly. Yeah, what do you think about the strike to Fountain? I don't know who struck. I'm. I only have to assume that it was Tommy. I mean, I, I don't particularly. I don't think Falco really likes the stage that much uh, against Peach. I, but I, I mean, also, go to it, but he doesn't want Dreamland and he doesn't want Finals, so he's got to really pick between this and Final Destination. So I, ca is, I guess I like, can see why. Um, with the with the platforms changing so much, it could really trump his his dare approaches. So that's why I don't think Falco typically enjoys the stage. No, but, but he can dare through the. Generally, the platforms are low enough, and Peach is tall enough to where the point where you can I guess dare against, I guess and against hit Peach. Peach yeah. yeah. It's kind of the same thing where Falcon. It's not really a good stage for Falcon, but you can dare through the platforms, and it's uh, like the one positive. Yeah, well, Yort's doing a really good job right now. And yeah, no, Yort's playing very solid. He's using... He's taking full advantage of these auto-canceled bears. Just this big hitbox kind of protects him. It's really interesting how Falco can full hop, get two bears out in that, um, in that time. His full hop's just so high. And we got the Falco chant coming out. Okay, so T-Bag has gotten a slight lead, but we'll see if uh, York can Ooh, clue. Ooh, that's Yort good Yort to Yort jumped right into that. Okay, that's nice. This is, he's at knockdown percent, which is unfortunate, but um, I believe he's knockdown percent. But uh, it's completely not that big of a lead. Loop. Ooh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. We got Luke Cloud Runner jumping on the mic. All right, what's, what's up, up, guys? Dude? What's up, man? I'm Cloud Runner. I don't know if we've met before. I'm Will. All right. I think you were next to me when I was playing friendlies earlier over there. Okay. Okay, so we saw T Bag take the first game. All right. Which is, uh, which is. What I personally expected, but I mean, I actually very surprised. Yort's doing very well. Last dock, pretty much very close last hit. Okay, I'm so familiar gonna go with to Yoshi's. Oh wow, beautiful shine off the top. Yeah, very good start. Yo, just curious, how many how many people are here? How many people like are watching? 
That's pretty cool. Oh. Alright! Wow, off to okay, a yo, very strong start yeah, here. Yo, is killing it right now. Looking very smooth with his movement. Uh, and just getting comboing right, Peach. Here's his opening. Just crazy. Very, uh... Very Peach edge guard there. Just go out, float out, hit him with the Nair. Gets caught in the blender. Ooh, this Ooh very close on that Nair. Yeah, space of just outside of it. Oh, this could, uh, yeah, this is not, yeah. We, I believe we had about 170 and entrants for melee singles. Dubs. So just like that, even up. Oof. Honestly, okay, there we go. Your... I was going to say, since, uh, since losing those two stocks, he only took like 17%, and he took both two st stocks from York. Okay. But yeah, like you said, despite getting... Messed up in the early game. T Bag's kind of brought this back. Okay. Ooh. Dragon Ball Z trade there. Okay. Gets him off with a bear. Can he complete the edge guard? Doesn't manage to get it. Mmm, good tech chase. Ooh, yep, that's gonna be the stock. So like, once again, last stock. Hoping for a game three right now because this is actually a really good set. Do we know if this is uh, winners or losers? Do uh, we assume it's winners. This is winners bracket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I assumed. Ooh, that's gonna be it. Yeah. Randall was right around, so I was hoping maybe for a short on the Randall, but I mean that's a little. It's yep. understandable. All right, so I think um, that's the set from T-Bag there. He's going to be moving on. Very so, solid from both players. Huh? Oh, we don't have bracket. Do we have Oh, yeah, you do. Probably 